In 2018, we left all we had ever known behind in Florida to make our way to Alaska in an attempt to drive our truck camper from Alaska to Argentina. We made it to the top of the world and turned south only to confront one challenge after another. But along the way, we fell in love with the road and realized that our call to wander would need an RV with a little more space. So we sold our truck camper and purchased a 22-year-old Class C motorhome that needed just a little bit of TLC. This is the story of how we spent six months remodeling our new home on the road. Hey, hey, hey. Mm. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. hey. I'm freezing. <laughs> I don't even know what day it is in terms of projects. We've allocated two days a week that we can work on the camper because we got to work yeah, a whole lot of little projects. So we're going to knock out a bunch because my goal is tomorrow to tackle the bathroom. So today is bedroom day. I'm going to do some trim mm -hmm. and we're going to finish the dog door. We're going to hang those little Ikea racks and the bedroom, and the, be bedroom the bedroom and be done with the bedroom. Put, put brand new um, LED bulbs. Yep. in the appliances get rid of these yellow lights get rid of the yellow lights that'll be nice and that will be done for the bedroom and i'll feel really good about that that being said let's go back out in the cold oh. <laughs> who do you think is going to be waiting for us right here <gasps> look who it is Scratching at the door. look who it is what you getting into buddy so lindsay's going to put some liquid nails underneath the wood gonna put the nail nail gun brad Not gun staples nail gun <laughs> and we're gonna brad it into place and then lindsay's gonna come up with this crazy little design on the door and then she's gonna paint it poke a hole in what take that okay and here oh it doesn't fit it does there you go whoa <laughs> uh <laughs> Don't get on. <laughs> this is another reason why it's taking us forever. Things do not go the way we expect them to go. Movie's back. Yep, made it back from Lowe's. We've got this new wood. It's going to get painted, <laughs> yeah. so it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. They didn't have this wood in stock. Going to make these last cuts so Lindsay can glue them down and um, we'll nail them down. <clears throat> and then she can put the, uh, the hole filler on top of the wood filler on top of the brads and the cracks and maybe get the painting. I don't know that she's going to get the painting today, but we'll see. This is my new design. So I've got some more support going across um, on each side. And I put a pillar in the back that should also be a little extra support. And then I put those um, slats that I think will help distribute the weight a little bit. And again, I'm not gonna be stepping on this anymore. It was an accident that I stepped on in the first place and it broke. So I don't think the weight of Everest, even though she's a big girl, is not going to, um, is not gonna destroy this, hopefully. And I do think that the um, shoe bin will actually slide underneath there because if it doesn't, then it defeats the whole purpose of what I'm doing. I don't want to kill the space. I want to add the shoe bin underneath there. So um, I guess I'd have to find a smaller or a lower profile shoe bin. I had to notch the wood, the two by fours that I'm using as the vertical support. I notched them so that I could then lay these cross beams uh, or crossbars, slats, whatever you want to call it across there. 
So it functions hopefully the same as, um, I guess the same as the slats of a bed would. And maybe it'll work, maybe it won't. All right now I'm gonna screw everything into place and then cut my board to place on top and then I should be back in business. I think I've got it all figured out. I've zipped down the frame and now I've cut the board to my 20 inches by 24 inches. So I'm gonna go ahead and mount that board just with two screws. Nothing crazy, it's not gonna move around a whole lot. But I am gonna put two screws into that from the top going down into uh, the underside frame and that'll secure it in place. Then I will need to cut the door, this, has uh, you can see where it's got these holes up here and that's where it's gonna pivot on the hinge and so I do need to cut that three quarters of an inch off the bottom I'll go ahead and do that and then uh, and then it'll be up to Lindsay to paint this bad boy it's like deja vu all over again I got the dog step slash bed all figured out got it all put back together it's gonna to have to be painted, of course, but for now, here we go. That lifts up. My list, here's my list. I have all sorts of lists. Build dog step, done. Paint dust handle, still have to do that whole bunch of stuff to do. Today is Wednesday. Trim bedroom, I'm dreading that, but I think I'm going to do that next. Paint dog step, that's Lindsay. Hang the Ikea shelves, that's these guys here. They're going to go up on the wall over there and over there. LED lights, that's an easy one. They're right here. We've got one, two, three, four lights. We're going to swap out, put the LEDs in. Install install the living room lights, and then backsplash and uh, doorstep mat. So I gotta do the trim and install install the lights in the living room, and then I think Lindsay can knock out the rest of this and actually maybe have our Wednesday list done. We'll see. I'm running on uh, about two hours left before I gotta start getting ready for work. By the way, Lindsay's not here. We ran out of wood um, for the front of the door. So she had to go to Lowe's. Lowe's didn't have the wood. So I don't know where Lindsay is right now, but that's how it goes. She'll be working without me a little bit later on. We're a team, we'll get it done hopefully soon. This is dragging on. It's February now, and I'd really like it to be done in about two weeks and be totally done so we can focus on actually putting these videos together so you can watch them. time to install the light. Lights look pretty darn good if I do say so myself. Lindsay's gonna have to come in here and take a look and hopefully she will like what she sees. Will she like what she sees? Survey says.
Survey still says. Nice. Two thumbs up? Yeah. I like them. They work great. Yeah. Well, I just dropped Chris off at work, so now it's just me finishing stuff up on the camper. Um, I still have to paint the pocket door. We have finished the design. And I'm going to at least get one coat on it today. It is going to get dark soon. I think it's already almost 5 o'clock. So I'm going to get at least one coat on the door. And um, leave that out to dry. And I think that's really it. I might try and paint the dog step. But we'll see. I'm probably going to end up getting hungry and want to eat dinner.